Here's the idea. Let's take some of these rubber granules and evenly cover the entire surface of the body with them. You expected it to pierce the rubber? You can mend the door, put your hammer down, without giving a flying... without a care in the world. How do you like the car? Ready for a car show, I reckon. Big thanks for your support, guys. Your likes, views, comments. As a token of our appreciation, we've prepared an awesome surprise for you. We've collabed with a few professional artists and designers to make six posters depicting some of our most iconic builds. And we're giving you the opportunity to buy a digital copy of one of those posters. And at a bargain price, just $2 a piece. And if you order all six posters at once, the entire set is only gonna cost you $10. After payment goes through, the posters will be emailed to you in high resolution. You can print them, hang them on your wall, or give them to someone as a gift. By purchasing these posters, you will really help support our channel in these difficult times. And the more of these we sell, the more great content we'll be able to make for you going forward. So if you want to support our channel, go ahead and buy a digital download. The links in the description. Hey there, fellows. Now, you might recall how we tried applying protection to make the body panels super durable and whatnot, and so this idea occurred to us. I'm sure you've all seen the artificial turf at stadiums and playgrounds made out of recycled rubber. They basically take old tires, grind them down into granules, and bind them with adhesive to make a rather durable material. Here's the idea. Let's take some of these rubber granules and evenly cover the entire surface of the body with them. Do the entire car. And after that, we're going to do a bit of durability testing. Okay, let's get to it. Recycled tires. Polyurethane adhesive. Adhesive plus 10% white spirit. Check out what we got here, guys. Look at this lovely material. So this is all dried, it's all looking good. And here's what we're doing. We have got the car on its side. The point of that being, the idea is for the vertical surfaces to now be horizontally orientated to ensure that the rubber and glue compound sticks around and doesn't drip down to the ground. The application process is the same, and all of it appears to be on nice and even. And so let's complete the job, and proceed to the testing phase. Let's carry on. I'd say we're looking pretty good here. The material has cured, and we have got an awesome coat going. Now, it's not hard, per se. It is very much soft to the touch. But it looks sick, doesn't it? How do you like the car? Ready for a car show, I reckon. But let's go for a drive. Show it to the people and see what they have to say about all of this. Let's go. You know what, guys? The car's gotten quieter. 
So this coating doubles as sound deadening. And it actually seems to be quite effective. So we're visiting our expert neighbors. What do you think? You had to ruin this antique vehicle. I don't know, I like it. Why does everybody keep calling this pavement? I mean, I guess it's similar. You know, that's actually a good idea. Anyway, uh, what do you guys think? No, but these are rubber granules like they use for turf. Scratch resistant? Well, that's the million dollar question. Can you scratch it? Look here. I've got me three instruments. Uncle Victor has chosen a knife. Go right ahead, Uncle Victor. Okay, right. So it does pierce it, but then it self-heals. Yeah, you take the knife out and there's no mark in sight. Do oh, you also want to take a shot? That was barbaric. All you're doing is putting dents in the metal. And so what do we got? Okay, so if you look closely, you'll notice the pan's transforming, the metal is caving in, but the layer of rubber is unscathed. Torture does not maim the thing. What, you expected it to pierce the rubber? <laughs> Tough luck, man. <laughs> hey, you're free to use your own axe if you got one. You can mend the door, put your hammer down, without giving a flying... without a care in the world. So we have a few guys who doubt that this coating is any good. Yo, doubters! Come out here one by one! I've got all of the necessary... Oh, look at that, holy cow! This is my weapon of choice. I see somebody doing uh, some sharpening over there. This is going to be some hardcore testing. Where do you want to hit it? It just bounces right off. For real? I literally just sharpened it. Now I'm looking for the spot where I hit it. Yeah, keep on going. Didn't sharpen it well enough. Oh, here we go. Yeah, go for it. How'd you do? Oh, you pierced it. How many hits did it take? Took some paint off. Well, that's because the metal gave in. It bent and the paint was torn off. If this were bare metal, it would have never... I can see some bug. All right, well done, Nikolai. Now you try him. Did anybody tell Nick he's gonna have to fix it? What are you trying to do? Oh, I see. Hey, if it's not working otherwise. Even so, it just heals right back up. Yeah, you can barely see the mark at all. Just give it a few rubs and it's gone. Looks like you can't even trash this. <laughs> Perhaps uh, try using this? Nah, this just isn't working. It lasts forever. Last forever, huh? Oh, what have you got there? Last forever, my ass. Hit a different spot, though. Yum. I'll hold this for you. Hit it at an angle. What, did you sharpen it? A little bit, yeah. You just can't help but sharpen stuff. It'll pierce right through. Come on, do it already. Yeah, it'll pierce right through, uh huh? I can't even find the mark. Wait a second. Oh, holy cow! That's more like it. And so, using a sharpened crowbar, he was able to do a bit of damage, but hey, it's right. Can I try one more time? Uh, yeah, sure, go for it. Yeah, I see you've decided... separated the paint. Indeed it did, and that was to be expected. That did some damage. But then he did resort to some drastic measures, so... Now let's whip out the heavy artillery. You would have seen us uh, shooting this in the past. This right here is an air cannon that uses pool balls as projectiles. We are loading in an 11 ball, and I actually forgot how to use it. And we are ready. Here goes nothing. One, two, three. 
didn't do anything horrible. Let's take a look at the door. I can tell it hit the door in this spot because uh, there's a dent right here. Yeah, that's a pretty huge dent. So underneath the rubber layer, I'm guessing there was a painted bog? That fell off, but the rubber layer is still very much intact. If it weren't for the dent, we wouldn't have been able to identify where it got hit. 100% uh, maybe try again? One, two, three. Holy cow. So what do we got? Well, it's the same exact story as the first time. Here's where the ball hit the car. The paint primer and all of that came off, but the rubber held up just fine. And it's, um, nice and even. Maybe we'll see some obvious damage from in here? Yep, you can see exactly where the ball hit the fender. There's a pretty big dent, but the rubber held up fine. You can tell from in here that the dent is pretty nasty, but you can't see it from the outside. Now, certain unpleasant situations uh, do occur on parking lots next to your apartment block or at a store when somebody sideswipes your car and leaves a noticeable mark. Now, let's simulate that sort of scenario. Your car is parked and somebody's trying to park next to you. Let's assume I got distracted. I turn the wheel. I look over and I'm like... I just hit that car. Some people would just drive away. Others would stick around. Now let's go have a look and see what that did. Oh no, I have left a scratch after all. Holy cow. Oh my. But then I did press up against it pretty hard. But in any case. Yes, that did leave a scratch. But you can only see it from this angle. You can actually rub it like this and sort of buff it out. Though I have bent the bodywork somewhat. I mean, it was a pretty rough impact. It also happens that somebody is backing up. They're moving along, then they forget to check their mirror. And, oh no, I've sideswiped somebody's car. From there they drive forward slightly, they might try to run. No, that's not something I'd do, mind you. They step out, they come over to have a closer look. Oh, didn't leave any marks, I guess I'll dip. That's how things tend to go down, but let's assess the damage. Now, my plastic bumper did leave, um... It seems to have left a mark on the rubber, but I do think, um... I'm pretty sure you can wash that off, or you might not even need a car wash. Just rub it in, you can barely see it anymore. But now let's try doing the same exact thing, but with a bit more speed. Here we go. Oh, holy cow. Here you can see that... It has left a mark. The rubber is very much visible on the white paint. And what do we have over here? Here we see some white paint on rubber. It sticks out on the black. It is very apparent. But it is fairly easy to clean off uh, with your finger. Holy cow. Will you look at that? What an awesome material. This material can apparently take quite a serious beating. For the hunters and fishermen out there, that's something to bear in mind. And that's all I got for you. You saw it all for yourselves. Catch you guys later.